if you gave me NVIDIA or the field, I'm going to take the field and AMD is going to be one of the top picks in that field. The stock market is constantly changing as trillions of dollars in shares are bought and sold every day, impacting thousands of companies around the world. But what if you could choose just one stock to buy over the next five years? Our analysts share their picks and why they are choosing these companies. Let's dive in. What stock would you choose to go with um, as your choice for the next five years? Well, I'm going to pick advanced micro devices, right? And I picked that stock because of its position in the in the semiconductor market. It uh, was a leader, not the leading stock, but a leader in the data center market before the AI boom. So now it's pretty well established in AI. It provides some differentiated service and capabilities to NVIDIA. So we know that there's demand within the AI market. We have players like Oracle and Microsoft saying that they're going to be offering both companies uh, chips and services because they want to be able to provide, um, you know, choice to the industry. Um, they have a great pipeline for technology coming up for the next few years. They've got their second and third generation technologies already lined up. Um, the difference between NVIDIA and AMD right now is that AMD has some legacy businesses that are still normalizing, but those are supposed to return to growth over the next few quarters, which will help provide a boost for the long-term growth. Um, it is a little bit more diversified. So for the long-term, we've got the data center market, which is the boom in AI now, but we've also got the IoT, we've got industry, we've got PCs, the edge of computing, the, uh, the edge of the AI, <clears throat> the edge of the cloud and the edge of AI. That's all going to help sustain business long into the future. Um, They've got great cash flow on a healthy balance sheet. I see this company following in the footsteps of other tech companies this year and bringing in a dividend. I think that's another long-term driver for the stock. Um, so I'm definitely going to be in this, in this one for five years. All right. I'll ask the same question here. If we are going to go 15 years instead of five, are you still all in on this stock? Yeah, I think I would be. Chris, do you have anything uh, to add on AMD? Maybe why do you think your pick might be more superior than AMD? <laughs> well, you know, I'm not going to get an arm wrestling match here. <laughs> I mean, you know, I love AMD, Lacey. We've talked about it enough. I, I said just a few weeks ago that if you gave me NVIDIA or the field, I'm going to take the field and AMD is going to be one of the top picks in that field. Um, you know, I, I one of the points that Thomas made that I really would hit on again is I think it has a great opportunity as the CPU and the GPU cycle kind of resets itself, that's where they're going to have an opportunity to get market share. My only hesitance to take AMD as a one stock pick for the next five years would be what happens as more competition is going to enter the market because companies are going to be looking for more competitors than just AMD as an alternative to NVIDIA. But I mean, as far as saying, is AMD a great stock pick for the next 10 years? Absolutely. Absolutely. <music>